catching your foot in the loop and being dragged. If you don't, you can't retrieve a rein should you drop one. Perhaps the best compromise is to tuck the end of the rein through the keeper on the other rein without buckling it. To mount from the near side, take the reins in the left hand in the driving position and hold the spare rein safely out of the way. Mount quickly and pick up the whip so that you are in full control as quickly as possible. A long driving apron may be tucked into the waistband to remove any risk of stepping on it when mounting. To mount from the offside, take the reins in the left hand driving position and transfer them to the right hand one finger further down, so leaving the thumb and index finger free to hold the dashboard. Pick up the spare rein and mount quickly. Drop the corner of the apron, transfer the reins and pick up the whip. An inexperienced pony may try to start as soon as he feels your weight on the step, so be careful to keep contact with the reins whilst mounting. The vehicle should be almost on the point of balance, with as little weight on the shafts as possible. The reins are held in the left hand, separated by the first and second fingers, and held by the third and fourth fingers. The left hand controls the speed of the pony, and can be used for some steering when the right hand is busy. Rotate the hand back for a left turn, and forwards for a right turn. The effect can be exaggerated by rotating the hand back and moving it to your right, or forwards and moving it to your left. The whip should be held so that the right hand fingers are free to assist with steering and should be kept up and forwards at 45 degrees. It should always be in your hand. If it is needed for safety, it will be needed very quickly. The two hands should be kept close together for neatness and for quick control. For a right turn, take the bottom rein back under the left hand. And for a left turn, take the top rein back over the left hand. One reason for holding both reins in the left hand is so that they can be shortened when descending a hill. The best way is to slide the right hand forward and bring the left hand up to it. The reins may also be pulled through the left hand from behind. You should never take the left hand off the reins, nor lose control with the pony's mouth. Another advantage of holding both reins in the left hand is that the right hand can be used instantly for an emergency stop. A firm seating position is essential for safe driving. The thighs should slope downwards and the feet should be well forward so that if the pony should stumble you will not be thrown over the dashboard. The feet should be at right angles to the shins. A good driving position is partly dependent on the correct design of the vehicle, but may sometimes be improved by altering the height of the seat. When you are ready to move off, just nod to your groom to quietly move to one side. If you speak, the pony may in time learn to anticipate the start. When you ask the pony to walk on, ease the contact on the bit. Since the pony is not rigidly attached to the vehicle, you may have to move forward a few inches before you and the vehicle move.
Before turning right, look over your shoulder to make sure that it is safe to do so. Although it is possible to turn with the left hand only, it is usually best, except in very heavy traffic, to signal first and then return the right hand to the reins before turning. Many car drivers do not now understand whip signals and they should only be used for signalling to other horse drivers. Signals to motor drivers should be made by hand. And now the left turn. or the groom may make the signal. Slowing down or stopping. It is important that the pony should be able to rein back and to steer whilst doing so. For the straight rein back, tighten both reins and give the command get back. And back. 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 Good boy. Whoop. And whoop. Good pony. To back to your left, take more contact on the right rein. And to back. turn to your right, pull more strongly on the left hand. Being able to steer in reverse can be essential in a tight spot. After the drive, ask your passenger or groom to dismount first and stand at the pony's head. Dismounting from either side is the reverse of mounting. Make sure that you come down backwards so that if the pony should take off you can climb back in and take control. Never ever remove the bridle before taking the pony out of the shafts. The unaccustomed sight of the vehicle behind is very likely to make the pony bolt. Surprisingly, accidents are still being caused in this way. The rein should never be removed until the pony is tied up, as this would reduce the control over the pony. <laughs>